Despite being a part of New York City, you'd never think it based on how the folks in my district get around. 68% of Staten Islanders drive to and from work as opposed to 22% in Manhattan. If we update our infrastructure, we put millions of Americans to work in good paying jobs and continue to help our communities be economically competitive. I ask that the committee ensure that wastewater infrastructure is a pillar of any infrastructure package that you develop. We have $8.75 billion in backlog needs along our, uh, the upper Mississippi. Because the Gateway Tunnel Project is the nation's most urgent infrastructure project. But our water infrastructure is aging and hasn't kept pace. For most people, the word infrastructure invokes the image of roads and bridges. But it is much, so much more than that. It's the public transit system taking people to work every day, the pipes delivering safe drinking water to our homes. Infrastructure investments needed to be, one, inclusive of small communities and not just for the big cities, two, broad and bold enough to go beyond roads and bridges, and three, focused on building new infrastructure as well as repairing the old. There is no substitute for robust public investment. We need to have a dedicated water infrastructure trust fund. We need to expand financing mechanisms to invest in surface transportation, airports, public buildings, schools, housing, super fund cleanup, and more. When people can't get to work because the streets are underwater, when tourists can't walk around to shops and restaurants, when children can't go to school, our economy and our future suffer. Transportation is about more than getting from one place to another. It's about job creation, economic growth, clean air and clean water. The over $50 billion backlog of Indian country's infrastructure needs is more extreme than off-reservation communities. Our region must address increasing traffic, the decreasing affordability of housing, and the growing effects of climate change.